I shared something some time ago. Where I got a message from all this spiritual ground. How they got my number, I didn't know. But what was the message? Very long test message. Very long. Message that took me more than five minutes to read. What happened? Somebody carried the picture of that family. Went to this evil ground to kill all of them. The man and the wife plus three children, five of them. Now listen. The person who wrote me that test, from when I read the test, from what I understood from the test, happened to be the woman who owns the evil altar. He said to me, he said, I have been doing this work. There's no work they bring here. He called and work. That he never done successfully. He said, but whenever as he put this picture, this family picture on the altar, after they performed the whole sacrifice, they said the, the girl brought money and performed the whole sacrifice they told her to perform. He said, they asked her, say, what is your intention? Say, so he said, let the whole of this family die, impossible one day. He said, the very first time they placed the name on the altar and they called their name, he said they had a man roar. He said the table shake and the picture failed. He said it has not, he said be like great quick. He said he did it the second time. He said, but the voice he was hearing was the voice of a man. He said he now consulted and he discovered that the grace covering them is stronger. You know what he told me? He said, I've killed so many church members. He said, I know they fear church members. You know, at times when they are talking, at times you begin to imagine. He said, he said, when he began to hear that voice, he said, you now remember saying, you have heard me on television one day. In this city, he said, you now ask the person, say, which church? Did they, did they go to say, yes, which church? He mentioned my name. He said, no wonder. He said, now that pastor on I block road. He said, now me, they call. You know what I'm saying? Now God. He said, he said, that was when I began to look for your number. He said, please forgive me. I, he said, I promise you, anyone will come from your church. I no go dear there. Listen, listen. He said, don't close this my temple. He said, this is where they chop. He said, don't close it. He said, I, he said, I apologize from my heart because I know if I didn't apologize, what I'm seeing here now, this work will close. Now I laugh where they say, it is a never close. Somebody had a fire. Now, what happened? The woman wrote in the final part of that test, he said, but warn your members. Now, they, now this one bring problem for himself. He said he carried the girl who said he's stranded. Enter house. Now that girl where he carry, where they say he's they stranded, you know, get family for here. Now I bring picture. He said, I should beg my member, they should not be harboring strangers they don't know in the name of help. And if that thing happened, that girl will disappear. Nobody knows her way about. Shout the father. father. Any man or woman yes. on assignment. To waste life. I King Silly. I refuse to be your victim. Oh, you yeah, pray the prayer. I King Silly. Me and my children and everyone connected to me can never be your victim. Are you praying? Make sure you are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Stretch your hand. I pass decree. Anyone on evil mission looking for blood this season, in the name of Jesus, as you echo amen three times, they will not catch you. Amen. 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 Listen, even if you join the same vehicle with them, they say they want to cause accident. If they ever cause it, they will die. Amen. And you will survive. Amen. I repeat. 
You will not do good that will buy your head. Hey. I decree, decree to you, Rema, you watching me there. Your good will not take your life. You will not do good that will buy your life. You will not have somebody that will kill you. In the name of Jesus. 